I was recently sent this guitar pick, which has created a bit of a controversy on the internet. The creators of it claim that it allows you to play the guitar without touching the strings. The critics say it's all a hoax or a fraud. Now, I know that playing the guitar without touching the strings is actually possible. It uses something called an ebo, which interacts with the strings via magnetic fields, and this pick is essentially just a very strong magnet in the shape of a guitar pick. But the question is, does it actually work, or if it does work, it does it work very well? Let's find out. I just went to a guitar store and played with this pick on a bunch of guitars. I couldn't really get it to actually generate any sound of the strings without touching the strings. It uh, it modulates the pickups because pick pickups are magnetic, so if you put it near the pickups you can kind of get some sound. So take the string sound and make it quieter as opposed to making it louder. If you're in a situation where the guitar strings are already vibrating, then the pick might actually have some musical function. Alright, I managed to get my hands on a guitar, so let's see what we can find out about the pick. You can see that the pick does affect what's going on with the pickup. The question is what happens when you actually play uh, a little bit louder. I'm going to play a note on one side and then put the pick near the pickup on the other side. Just to make sure it's not my hand vibrating, I will do the same thing without the pick in my hand. The key thing is that the pick does not make the strings move, the pick modulates the pickup. You have to make the strings move with your hand on the strings or using the pick to strum them, like a normal pick. So just as a demo of this, I'm gonna play hard onto the strings. The left hand creates the vibrations, the right hand modulates the sound. You can pick at the same time the left hand is hitting the strings, and it will look like it's the pick that's doing the work, but it's actually the left hand. Okay, let's do a brief overview of how electric guitars work. The device that captures or picks up the signal in an electric guitar is called the pickup. It's these things here. Pickups turn the physical vibrations of the strings into an electrical signal, hence electric guitar. Electric guitar pickups take advantage of the fact that when you move a magnet near a wire, the changing magnetic field causes electric currents to flow in the wire. This is how electrical generators generate electricity, for example. Spin a magnet inside a coil of wire, and you generate electric current in the wire. In the case of an electric guitar, there's a coil of wire hidden in the pickup, and the strings themselves function as the moving magnets. When a magnetic string vibrates, it generates small electric currents in the wire. Those tiny currents are what a guitar amplifier amplifies into stronger currents, which enter a loudspeaker which turns the electricity back into sound. But there's one problem. Guitar strings aren't magnetic at least not on their own. Electric guitar strings are made out of materials like iron or nickel, which can become magnetized if you leave them in a magnetic field, like how rubbing a paperclip on a magnet makes it temporarily able to pick up other paperclips. 
That's why you have to have magnets inside electric guitar pickups. These little circles are the ends of the magnets that magnetize the strings and therefore turn them into the moving magnets that are needed to generate electrical currents in the wire inside the pickup. Really, these things should be called electromagnetic guitars. But the pickup doesn't just pick up the motion of the guitar strings. Any other magnet that's moving near the pickups will also generate electrical currents, which will be amplified by the guitar amplifier. And this is what's happening with the magnetic pick. <laughs> To show you it is really just magnets, I have here a stack of magnets. These are going to work just as well. I have a regular pick and I have a little neodymium magnet and I'm going to tape these together. It couldn't be more crude. It works! Okay, so we're gonna record the guitar straight into an external recorder, no amps involved, and see if we can still achieve the same effects that come from using the magnetic pick. Feel kind of silly here just like swinging this pick through midair with no sound coming out. I recorded the raw signal out of the guitar, and I'm just going to put that straight back into the effects pedal and through the amp. This test shows that the pick doesn't affect the amp or the effects pedal, and they don't affect the pick, because we get the same picking sound just by playing a raw recording of the guitar through the pedal and amp. I'm going to play music with the non-magnetic pick, and then I'm just going to use the magnetic pick to create a signal through the pickups, and then I will combine them after the fact so you can see it's really the post-processing that's creating the sound of the magnetic pick. Here we go with the regular pick. And now we have the magnetic pick. I can't hear anything at all. The point here is to show unequivocally that the magnetic pick doesn't play the strings. We can play the strings alone, and strum the pick up separately, and then combine those signals and still get the same strumming sound as if the magnetic pick were picking the strings. But it's not. It's just a magnet messing with a guitar pickup. So what are my final thoughts on this pick? It does not work the way it's advertised to work, but it does create the effects that it is advertised to create. You can see why it would be confusing. The impression you get when you watch the promo materials, at least the impression I first got, and clearly lots of other people too, is that the magnetic pick somehow moves the strings and allows you to pick from far away, which it doesn't. The pick does help create all the effects shown in the promo materials though, just not by moving the strings, which is certainly a confusing situation. The magnetic pick works because it interacts with the pickup, generates a very loud low frequency signal pulse, which then passes through carefully crafted signal processing to achieve the desired musical effects. And since many people don't understand how or why it works, they're arguing about it a lot. The magnetic pick isn't a scam, in the sense that it can indeed reproduce all the sounds and musical effects that the creators show in their promo materials. Yes, it seems a bit overpriced for what it actually is, a magnet in the shape of a guitar pick. And yes, all the effects it produces are created by signal processing after the signal leaves the guitar, rather than on the guitar itself, which is why you can add in the effects after the fact. But there are three things that kind of maybe justify the price. First, it's a magnet and guitar pick in one, so you don't have to use a pick and magnet glued together, or whatever. And two, to be honest, the sound of almost all electric guitars is also created with signal processing after the signal leaves the guitar. So yeah, you can't use this without effects processing, but like, that's the world of electric guitar. Third, and most importantly, I think the price is kind of justified by the fact that the creators have put a huge amount of intellectual time into developing the playing techniques and post-processing effects that make the magnetic pick work. And that is really what you're paying for. So in summary, this magnetic pick is horribly explained by the people who make it, which has led a lot of people to be confused about how it works, and to use it incorrectly, and to think it's a scam. It does actually do the things that the creators show you that it can do, and it can provide capacity for new creative musical expression. The physics is simple, the human relations are complicated.
I did a lot of hands-on investigation for this video. It's one of the best ways to figure things out, and it's how this video's sponsor, Brilliant.org, helps you learn by interactively exploring math and science. Brilliant has thousands of lessons from basic computer programming to physics to AI. Want a hands-on intro to neural networks? They've got it. Special relativity? Got that too. Go to brilliant.org slash minute physics to get a free 30-day trial, and the first 200 people will get 20% off an annual subscription. Again, that's brilliant.org slash minute physics, and thanks to Brilliant for their support. One of the potential drawbacks of this pick is that because it sticks to the strings, it does kind of make picking a little bit weirder because the strings actually move up towards the pick when you start playing. And so they kind of attach to it in a way that's kind of unnatural or odd. But, you know, it's a very pointy pick, probably good for metal or something where you're playing a lot of really fast notes and you want some pointy precision. Mm -hmm. 